like Jewish law or Islamic law? How do you think Christianity can fix the world if the absolute law that you demand is not present in Christianity itself? You can't love thy neighbor and love thy father and just bring it on from there. Okay, good question. And did you say, did you say you're not a Christian but you're a Muslim? I'm a Muslim. Okay. I appreciate that, sir, and thanks for asking. I think it's a wonderful question. He never came to destroy the law. He made that very clear. He came to establish it. What he reminded us is that by the keeping of the law, no flesh can be justified. This is a fundamental difference between Islam and Christianity. That in my faith, I can be absolutely certain that I am forgiven. Not because I am righteous. For you it would be purely the will of Allah whether he chooses to grant you that salvation or not. But don't ever forget that what Jesus actually said was transcend the written law in any way. For example, he says, you say, you know, you shall not commit adultery. He said, I'm telling you, if you look upon a woman with lust, you have already committed adultery in your heart. He has already established that now on a higher plane. He says, if you hate somebody, you've already committed murder. If anything, he establishes it on a higher plane. So I think the difference between, say, what you are raising for me and what the Christian faith would give to you is that the Christian faith is not devoid of a moral law. It sets it on a higher plane. Jesus described the moral law as a mirror. You can look at a mirror and find out that your face is dirty, but you don't go and rub your face on the mirror to clean it. So you go to something other than the mirror, and the, and the law, says the Apostle Paul, is a schoolmaster. If anybody knew what the moral law was, it was the Apostle Paul. And he found out at the end that it was only the grace of God and the mercy of God that was able to give him salvation. It doesn't deny the law, it affirms it and shows ultimately the impossibility for you and me to keep it. So it, is not, it does not destroy the law, it shows that he alone completely fulfilled it, no one else ever did. One of the chief, uh, I guess, arguments against Christianity is the hiddenness of God. Ladies and gentlemen, for every one person whom I tell you God seems so hidden, I could tell you stories as I travel, how in enormous ways he will reveal himself to you. And the test I want to give you is this. You go to bed tonight, and I'll get on your knees and ask Jesus Christ if he's who he claims to be, to reveal himself to you in one way or the other. And I'll tell you sooner or later, he will make himself known till a point will come where you will say there is no other explanation for what's happening other than that he is on my trail. You'll find it that he's not hidden, he's quite revealed. Mm -hmm.